Hey everybody, this is Leslie and you're watching Midlife and Nailing It. If you could please hit my subscribe button and notification bell and give this video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. It helps my channel out so much. Today I have something for you that's a little bit different than I normally do. Uh, as many of you know, I am in the middle of building a house. Actually, I'm almost done building a house. Uh, it should be done pretty soon here and we had a bit of a plot twist and I made a video about that. I'll put that in my description box below. Uh, so my content for the next month or so is gonna be a little different than usual here and there uh, because of what we're going through. Um, so today what I have for you is a video about I kinda cleaned up a sectional couch that we have and I re fluffed it, kind of getting it ready to go into our new home. So let's go ahead and get started. Observe the culprit. He is Roscoe. And he lays on top of my cushions of my couch. Do you see him? This is the one that I just stuffed. You guys, he does this to all of the top of my couch. I'm telling him all about you, Roscoe. I'm telling him what you do to my couch. You're why we have to fluff this couch back up. You are the reason, buddy. It is you. You're the culprit. But he's so cute, you guys. I love this dog. He makes my heart happy. Okay, guys, so to start off with, I vacuumed my couch super, super, super good. And then I went ahead and rented a steam cleaner uh, from Home Depot. I went with the rug doctor that Home Depot carries. I think it's better than that little red one that you see everywhere, but that's just my opinion. Um, and I did get the attachment. So you do wanna make sure you have the attachment when you steam clean any piece of furniture. So I just wanted to show everybody Home Depot's pricing on the Rug Doctor. I imagine it's probably the same at any Home Depot, but these are the Home Depot prices in my area. It's about $22 and some change for four hours. That's what we rented it for, and you can see the other prices there. Uh, we only needed it for about four hours because all we did was the couch. We didn't do any other pieces of furniture uh, or anything like that, and so four hours worked for us. They do require a $50 security deposit, but you do get that back as long as you return the machine on time. I think you probably get it back anyways, like say you're an hour over or something like that. They would just probably keep the difference um, for the daily rate. So you're probably thinking, now I'm gonna show footage of me steam cleaning my couch. I am not, I'm not doing that because I didn't think about doing this video until I started stuffing the first cushion. So I'm just giving you prices initially and then um, I'll show you actual footage. I will say that this steam cleaner did an amazing job on the couch. It looks brand new, I couldn't be happier. I also picked up this polyfill from Michaels. It was a 20 ounce bag and I got six of them thinking sillily, sillily, is that a word? I don't know, that that would work. Uh, it was not quite enough. It only filled one of my cushions and about three fourths of another. Um, so I did do Michaels pickup for the first time and it was so super easy. I uh, went ahead and paid online and you just walk in and ring a doorbell and they bring it to you. It's amazing. These were $6.99 a piece and I did pick up six of them. So for my last photo here before my video, um, I went ahead and because we needed so much more, I told my husband to get some more polyfill and he decided to grab just this huge 20 pound container of polyfill for $60 and something, I can't see it from here, from Amazon. Uh, it did get to us really quickly because we're Prime members. I used about 10 pounds of it. It comes in uh, the cube and then there's two bags. And I did use a full bag and a little bit into the next one. Okay, so that's all the products that I used for this little project I came up with. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so I'm just going to show you my sectional here. Um, I'm just showing you all the 
cushions that I'm going to fill. Um, my main problem was this cushion right here. Um, and I actually stuffed that one quite a lot. If you would have seen it, it was sagged way down because that's my dog's favorite spot in the whole wide world. Um, but I didn't think of doing this video until I had this one filled. And then I said, oh, wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> this probably took four bags of that fluff that I just showed you just to fill this cushion, but it was my worst one. It was really flat, you guys. Like, like probably a fourth of it was flattened down um, because my dog likes to lay up there. And so um, that one I did stuff already. And then I have another part of my sectional, which is like a chase over here um, that I started to stuff and I need to stuff a little bit more. Our furniture is kind of all over the place as well as everything else. Um, because this is the second to the last day that we're here. We've got boxes everywhere. Um, so ignore all that, but I need to finish fluffing. See how this little part is kind of sunken? It's because I have to finish this little part uh, here. So let me go ahead and show you the what 20 pounds of fluff looks like. So yeah, this is the 20 um, pounds of fluff. You guys, it's just so big. It is huge. It comes up to like my hip area. <laughs> It's giant, um, but yeah, this is all the fluff right here, and I this should be enough for the rest of the couch. We'll see. So the way that I do it, on each one of my cushions, there's a zipper, and I just go ahead and unzip that. It's already got some, like, I don't know what you would call it. It's not like the fluff I'm putting in, but it's pretty close, and so I'm going to go ahead and start stuffing, uh, you know, in my little zipper hole here that I have. Um, when I do that, guys, the f at first it's a little bit rough going because you have to put your arm all the way through and get up. You want to do the very furthest side from the zipper first. You want to make sure it gets in the corners really good and then work your way this way. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open that box of fluff and I will show you what that looks like. And after opening this, I realize I have a lifelong supply of fluff. Yes, I do. So when I break off pieces, they're about this big. I don't put a ton in at a time um, because it's it makes it packed down and I just don't do it that way. I pull off a fluff piece about this much and then I start stuffing. Let's see the before of uh, this cushion. See how it's really pushed down here, guys? Like super pushed down. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill that. Um, I don't have Randy here. My tripod is packed up, you guys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do it. I can't film myself doing it. It's just not possible right now. I'm just trying to make content for you guys while I'm uh, getting out of this apartment and everything that's going on. So what I'll do is I'll show you the cushion that I'm working on before. See how it's very smushed down because my dog, we all know because I showed the picture, right? I'm going to go ahead and um, stuff this with the fluff and then uh, show you what it looks like after. And like I said, I grab chunks like this um, I put it through the zipper and all I do is shove it way to the corner until all that's filled first and I work my way over. Uh, and that method seems to be working. But I'm going to go ahead and do that now and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And I do want to show you guys, like look at my arm. Can you see how red it is right there? Like I am hurting myself to get it up in that left corner. Um, I just want you to know if you decide to do this, yeah, that's what it's like. It sucks. Not going to lie. Um, so yeah, I'm like reaching further than what my reach actually is. Um, so that's all normal. And see how it's starting to build up in that left corner there and it comes down like that. Yeah, so you're doing the right thing. It might look like it's not going to turn out, but it will. You just keep stuffing, stuffing, stuffing. Okay guys, so I got this cushion finished. And um, yeah, it plumped up pretty nicely. Now, when you feel like you're doing it, if you feel like there's like any kind of little bit of lumps at all, that's okay. When people sit down on the couch within a few weeks or so, that will all settle in and um, it'll be just fine. So as I'm filming this, guys, I don't know if you can see all the fuzz that's getting everywhere. So please ignore that on my couch. I'm gonna have to revacuum it when I'm done. Guess I probably should have fluffed first, vacuumed, and then steam cleaned, but 
I've never fluffed up a couch before, so um, I didn't really do that in the right order. Um, so next is this one. You can see that this is super smooshed down. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and fill all this up with fluff as well. Okay guys, so I've got this cushion fluffed up. Um, this one really needs to settle. It looks like, I don't know, it's whoever is usually sits here kind of leans this way in. Um, but I stuffed it the best I can and when um, you get weight on it from people sitting here, it'll uh, push in the right way. But it is super stuffed. Again, ignore all the fuzzies that are getting everywhere. That's going to happen when you're fluffing this stuff up. So I'm just going to do these two really quickly and show you how it turns out. I'll probably vacuum up the couch uh, first to show you the end result or the kind of end result because it's not all put together. It's all taken apart right now. Whew. Oh, hey guys, I'm finished. Man, it's a big job. I think it is anyways. So all of my cushions are fluffed back up. Um, my couch is not put together, guys, so if it doesn't look perfectly put together, it's because I've taken it all apart. I probably have already said that in this video. Um, and then I just did a quick vacuum because there was fluff everywhere. So here's part of my sectional finished. And then, of course, here is my sectional. I meant to say the chase part of my sectional here. That's obviously not an entire sectional. <laughs> I don't know. I'm tired, guys. You guys, I don't know why that's showing up like that. There's not a flaw there. I just got done vacuuming it, and I think I just had set it there for a second. I'm just letting you know. Um, I'm tired. <laughs> All right, guys. So, yeah, this is going to go in our um, finished basement when we move um, this particular couch. Whew, it's huge. So it has not been ideal here in the apartment. It is way bigger than what this apartment, you know, kind of the room in here, um, but we've made do with it because we obviously weren't going to get rid of it. Um, so yeah, so we are all set. We're clean, right Elizabeth? Yeah. We're stuffed. <laughs> and we are ready for the furnished basement so we can watch thousands of movies down there and be cozy. That's the plan. All right guys, um, thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon.